One great thing about Good Morning Frederick and doing this job is I get to talk to people doing some cool stuff. And, you know, we got some hustlers around town, which I absolutely love as well. Let's say hi to Amanda and Jen. They've got two businesses that they're focused on. They've got the Slumberland Adventures overnight slumber party gear. And they've also got living good housekeeping that they run. So I guess one company wasn't enough. You thought, ah, we'll just do two. Yeah, we said, uh, let's fill up our time. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. So let's kind of go back because I think this story is interesting on how the two of you, you've been friends, you said, for 20 years, celebrating your 20th anniversary (laughs) this, this month as friends, which is awesome, or this year. Um, so, uh, you were telling me, Amanda, that you worked, um, uh, Jen was your manager. Yes. Uh, Jen was my manager at Long John Silver's when I was 16. And ever since then, we've just, we've lived together, worked together. Yeah. yeah. Off and on. Past that's, fa- that's good. She must've been a pretty decent employee, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some, some days better than others. I think we've all had our moments. We've all had our moments. It's all good. So one day you guys decided, hey, we should start uh, a couple of businesses together? Yeah, basically. Okay. And were you guys, uh, let's start starting with the Slumberland. Um, Tell me kind of how that forms and, and what you guys are capable of doing. Well, we saw it on Pinterest, TikTok, and other places, and we were like, that is so cute, and I think we could definitely make it happen here. So we bought a couple different themes, and we've just been expanding ever since. We just got a movie set up, like outdoor movie with a screen, some inflatable furniture, a speaker. Yeah, nobody else has had the idea in the area before we came out with it. I think the closest one when we first started was in Ashburn. Okay. Um, Because we looked around the area to see if there was anything similar and there wasn't. And now, you know, we've started this up and we've had at least several parties a month. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Well, and to be honest, look, I think that, you know, with a lot of these companies, I mean, you guys can only do so many parties, right? So there, I think there's plenty of work, uh, for, for all the companies that are kind of dabbling in this same space. Uh, but you know, so tell us a little bit about how somebody, when somebody comes to you, how does it work when they book, uh, uh, one of these slumberland parties? Uh, well, we have the website. They'll get on that. It has all the themes that we have. They just write in the contact form their name, their information, what theme they want and what date. And then we receive that through the website and then we send out a contract and invoice and we go from there and just start their party. Okay. And how many kids uh, are you able to uh, take care of with, with one theme? Uh, we could do about 12. Okay. Very good. Well, I mean, that's a pretty hefty slumber party, sleepover yes. party, I think for kids, but, um, uh, what has been, uh, if any biggest challenge that you guys have had to overcome with Slumberland? Um, space, finding space to store it in our house. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I bet that's kind of interesting. I don't, I wouldn't have any space either. So that's, uh, yeah, I bet that's overflowing. Soon you may have to go to some sort of warehouse space. I don't know. Definitely. We would, are looking to actually expand our Slumberland into uh, buying our own little area to hold the parties in with different themes in that um, area. Ah, that, that would be very cool. And I know, uh, you know, cause space in people's homes is probably limited too. So you probably have to get pretty, pretty creative when you get there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And, uh, what has been the best thing so far since starting Slumberland? Do you have any kind of, uh, experiences yet that you thought, uh, this is why we're doing it. Um, the surprise videos that we get of the kids. They definitely are ha- happy when they see it. They 
the moms send us videos of them running down the stairs and screaming with joy. And then I think another thing that we like to hear is the stories the next morning. Yeah. <laughs> when we go and pick them up, there's some stories of interesting overnight tales that we hear from the kids. Oh, that's awesome. That's really fun. I mean, what a great, what a great surprise uh, that parents can give kids and it doesn't have to necessarily be a birthday party, right? It can just Correct. be for any weekend that you're looking to kind of give the kids something a little bit more elevated. Mm -hmm. I like the, uh, the fact you guys have expanded into outdoor movie nights with the screen and speaker and inflatable furniture. That's so fun. Yes. Um, because again, you kind of, you know, as a parent, I see that stuff on TikTok and all this stuff. And I just think, Oh, I, you know, I wish I could put all that together. And then there you go. You have it. Yeah. Well, we like to um, say, you know, people are always like, well, we can go and buy this and that. And then they're like, well, where do I put it in my home? Well, yeah. we, we have that space right now. So let us come to your house and set it up and then take it down so you don't have to worry about it. Right. And to be honest, I mean, you'll buy that thing for one time. It's kind of a waste. And um, yeah, right. what much easier to have you guys come in, set it up, tear it down, take everything back. So that that's pretty cool. And then in line with this, you guys have also started uh, a home cleaning uh, or office, I'm sure a cleaning service called Living Good Housekeeping. Oh, Living Good. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Um, it's great. Uh, I had actually started the business in 2016 and then stopped during COVID and then restarted it back up. And half my clients were like, we missed you. Please come back. And I was like, yes, I'll take you back on my schedule. And then my schedule just got too full. And I was like, hey, do you want to come into business with me again? And she's like, yeah. So our business is our schedule is filling up again and we're looking to hire within the next couple of months. So it's, it's going pretty well. Yeah, that's really good because I know again, uh, you know, with uh, cleaning of any kind, um, you know, you get your kind of on your regular schedule once that gets full, cause your time is finite adding additional people to expand is excellent. But with both of your businesses, Living Good and Slumberland, you service about 30 miles, you say, from uh, the Charlestown area, is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay, great. And so that covers um, most of Frederick and you know all the areas kind of in between. Um, with the house, uh, the, the cleaning company, uh, what type of, client right now are you guys open to be able to take uh we're open for um office spaces we are expanding to evening services for offices uh we'd like to do move in and move out cleans we've had a lot of realtors reach out for move in and move out um or to get their house ready for market yeah for mm. ready. um we are also Speaking of what we're looking for, we're thinking about starting up a nonprofit for um, for us to go and help clean people with illnesses, be it mental or physical illness, um, mm. who can't afford to pay for it or just can't move around. Yeah. So looking to start up that nonprofit as well. <laughs> Well, wow, that would be uh, a great uh, addition to the community because obviously, you know, it's tough if somebody just, you know, can't physically or, you know, again, sometimes mentally can't handle clutter or, you know, and just families trying to help out uh, yeah. those people. Yeah, that's really great. So uh, definitely the move in, move out cleans uh, through real estate agents. I know that those are big jobs, but it's kind of your one and done and that's kind of good. Um, yep. You're in and out. Um, and uh, yeah, so what, what would you say with either of these companies sets you apart from some of the competitors that you might have in those industries? Um, I think what would set us apart is reliability yeah reliability <laughs> actually because we've had a lot of clients in our cleaning company say a lot of the other competitors just haven't answered them or haven't shown up for things that they've booked 
So that sets us apart for the cleaning. Um, I think the quality of our tents and our themes and the variety sets us apart from others as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I mean, I think that, you know, when you can offer people choice and you're reliable and you show up when you say you are, boy, that is definitely something that, you know, puts people at the top of my list as well. So yeah, great job, ladies. If there was one thing you wanted to make sure all of our viewers knew about both companies, what would you say? Um, I think we, as we're always happy to help. Yeah, whether happy it be with a party or to get your home back in order, we're happy to help. Yeah. Yeah, I think that should be kind of a dual thing. When you book a party, just book the clean on the other side of it so that you can take care of the mess that 12 youngsters are probably leaving in your carpets and on your floors and everywhere else. Uh, I think that that would be a great combo package to sell. Uh, Want to thank you both, Amanda and Jen, for spending some time with me today. Uh, wish you all the success. And when you launch that nonprofit, keep us posted and we'll be sure to let our viewers know. Thank you so thank much. Thank you.